So after all these documents have been confirmed and validated by the Campus France agents, you'll be able to book an appointment for a preliminary visa interview with a Campus France agent. <music>
with Campus France Nigeria. So that way you have all the list of required documents that is shown here. One of them is to have the completely filled and signed visa application forms. I'm going to show you how to get this and then two color ID photographs. So here you have yes or no, it's just to tell you, okay, you know, just to give you like a guideline, guideline of what you have. So whichever one you have available, you can tick yes or no, you know, it's just for sanity checks. And then I'm going to also put the link in the description box below so you can have this because you have to take this also to the Campus France um, preliminary visa interview. So another um, required document is the original passport. As you can see, it must be valid for at least for that three months after the expiration date of the visa. So this might, I mean, it must contain at least two blank pages as well. And then you need one colored copy of the passport front page. That is your biodata page where it has your passport, your you know photograph and your um, details like your date of birth. Just the front page this is your biodata page of your passport. Make sure you have a copy of it and then financial guarantee. So this is your original bank statements of the last three months. And if you are a worker, like you, you are employed, you make sure that you put in your um, salary account. So you put that statement as well. And if you have, if, if you are not sponsoring yourself, maybe your parents or somebody else is sponsoring you, then you can add your sponsor's salary um, slip or salary statements as well. And two copies, make sure you have two copies of them. And then, you know, like it said, if you don't, in case you don't have your own resources, that's if somebody else is footing your bills or paying for your um, education in France, then they need to write a financial guarantee letter, which should be written and signed by your sponsor. So that letter, the person must have to show that they must prove that um, he or she has enough and regular resources, if applicable, plus his passport's front page color copy and the page where the passport holder signature appears or copy of the scholarship letter if applicable. So that if you have a scholarship, of course, you won't be um, showing a lot of um, um, proof of funds because you know you it's you are going to study free. So or some some scholarships can also cover your living expenses and all that. So it all depends. And then all these documents must be provided in duplicate. So you have to make copies of them in as much as the required colored copies for like the biodata page, make sure that you have like two copies each for the, um, for the documents that you'll be taking along with you. So another required document is proof of accommodation. So you have to show a document indicating the place and condition of residency in France during the first three months. So that way they want to know that you have somewhere you can stay when you arrive in France. And of course, the accommodation certificate must mention your name, address of the accommodation, the dates covering the duration of your course. And if somebody else is offering you accommodation, make sure that you submit a letter of invitation from the person in France that is going to cover your accommodation, a proof of accommodation that's like um, electricity, water bill with the person's name, and a copy of his or her ID card. So if it's an international passport, the person should send you a copy of the um, biodata page of his or her passport or a national ID. So it depends. And then if the person is a minor, of course, you need a parental authorization. So if the person is under 18, you need to provide this any guarantee from the hosting person in France that is going to take care of the student. Of course, you need to have someone over in France that is going to care for the minor and then travel insurance. You have to show that you already um, purchased the travel insurance for three months and also plane ticket booking. But the plane ticket booking, of course, you don't have to pay for it because you are not sure if you would um, get the visa or not. So you just, you know, add a booking, but don't pay yet for it. And then, of course, you the date, you have to write the date and signature. Take this form along with you and also the required document that is attached to this form. So let me show you how to fill the visa application forms. OK, 
fill your visa application form, you have to go to the francevisas.gov.fr. So once you visit this link, of course, I'm going to put it in the description box below, then you, you know, land on this page. So when you land on this page, then you click, you know, for you to check, do you need a visa, start your visa application or track your application? Of course, this is not meant for you yet. So what you can do, you can go to, do you need a visa? And then you click on it. It will take you to this page to fill in your details. So you fill in your nationality. If you are from any of these countries, you select it. But for me, I'm going to select Nigeria. Um, okay, Nigerian. And then my age, I'm just going to put 36. And are you married to a French national? No. Um, here, do you generally travel with a family? You know, no. I'm not going with a family member. And then place of submission of application. You select from the countries listed. I'm doing this, you know, I mean, as a Nigerian. And then your visa type. So, of course, if you are going like for a master's program or a program that is more than three months, then you have to select the long stay. But if you'll be going for a short stay, any program that is less than three months, you know, which is 90 days, then you click short stay. But most of the time, of course, if you are going to study in France, I respect you to either go for a bachelor's or a master's program and not for a short stay. So we'll just go with long, long stay, excuse me. And then your main destination of stay. So you have to select from this um, the list of um, locations here. So I'll click France. And then your travel document, it will just automatically populate. Since you are from Nigeria and your uh, your place of submission of application is Nigeria, it will um, automatically populate it with Nigeria. And then your travel document, you select from these options here. So I'm going to select ordinary passports and then search. So when you search, of course, even though you selected, you need a long stay, I mean, you need a long stay visa, then it will tell you, unless, you know, you're a foreign national who holds a French resident permit or who, you know, if you are this, then you don't need a visa. But since you are from Nigeria and you you don't have any other residency apart from being a Nigerian, then you, of course, you need a long stay visa to be able to study in their country. So they ask you these questions, your plans, why are you making this trip? So you select from these options, you know, being displayed. So I'm going to select study because of course this is for a student visa. And then your main purpose of stay. So you click student. If you're a minor, you can click one of these options, but if you're above 18, then you click this. So students, and then you search. So now it will give you the supporting documents and amount to pay. So this is what it's going to show you. It's going to give you like application. So you see nationality Nigerian, age 36, place of submission Nigeria, the type of visa requested greater than 90 days, destination France, travel documents, your passport issued by Nigeria, your plans is to study and your purpose is of course to be a student. So the supporting documents required is going to list everything for you here. So the Documents to be provided as follows, you know, you prerequisite a travel document, of course, that's your passport. And then, of course, your purpose of stay. So you read all purpose of stay, you have to show that, you know, you are going there to study. So you show your, um, of course, you must have gotten your um, um, admission letter from the university. So that's what it means. And then your funds, you have to show proof of funds. You can see the proof of a minimum monthly income of 615 euros. So you have to show that you have this monthly income to be able to tell them that, okay, yes, I can take care of myself while I'm in France. So um, you read this, you show that then accommodation, of course, proof of accommodation, you have to have that as well. So all these things too are what um, is being listed on the um, preliminary, um, visa interview checklist that I showed before this. And then of course the applicable rate. So, which so is when the you visa put in your email amount to address paid and the password is 99 and euros, which is about 81,415 Naira. So of course this amount is for informational purposes. So only. now it's I'm in be paid your in the currency um, account. By the so once you enter your account, so of course if you are you tell you my application, of course you don't have any Naira. So the next thing is for you to 
application in a new okay, sorry, I missed this. Yeah, so if you're you in a country, any, click this. It's EEF so procedure. That's the Asia France procedure. So the amount to be paid is one of six. Euros. Euros. So we have six so different from steps. This that you're six to seven list of here. countries. If you are from so, any of these countries, um, listed here, plans, you're going so to pay 50 euros as a visa fee. And of course, Nigeria is included. So Nigerians will be paying 50 euros. I think that's about, it should be about 40 something thousand naira, if I'm correct. So yeah, then you go to okay. you click submit and then your online stay. application. You know, you just feel this, and you know. So at least that just not means you're like a preliminary. You know, it's actually um, very very you know, easy. information about you asked, how you make sure what the cost it, is and what is next required. Stage. And before you once be you are done, to the main, that's it. Um, you be place given for you to fill the form. So a confirmation to take you into this your, page. If um, you have not created an application review already, and that's what then you'll you be printing create out an account. So create an account will take you to a page. Let me just open it where you would fill out all these details and then click create an account. But if you have already created an account, then you just go to log in. Just enter your email address and password and then you click log in. So when you are logged in, of course, you know, if you don't have any app, if you've not started any application, you see this button here and then you click create a new application. So when you click that, you'll be presented with this form. As you can see, it's in three, six different steps. So what you do, this is very, very easy. You'll be guided through the whole process by you know, on-screen application. So as you can see, each field has its own help text. So you, just in case you see what you don't really understand, you can read all the help text and that will really help you. It's very, very easy and straight to the point. So after filling out all the information that is required on the forms in this, as you've gone through step one, two, three, four, five, and six, then you'll be presented with a review page that will be displaying, I mean, a review, page, a review page that will display all the information that you have entered. So that page, you you can have the, I mean, you have the option to edit. Maybe if you remember that you, maybe you missed something, you can edit, but after that, once you, you know, agree to the terms and conditions and then click submit, then you are done. You've submitted your application and you'll be presented with a confirmation page. So that is what you will print out. Make sure you save it, make sure you save it. So that's what you print out and you will take to the, um, to your preliminary visa interview with the Campus France officer. That's what you still take again to your visa application, to the visa application center. So after you are done with your preliminary interview with the Campus France agent, then they will give you um, like a letter that you attach. During my time, that was what they did. They gave me a letter that you attach to all your documents for your visa application. So once you get that, then you'd make an appointment with the visa application center. So make sure that you allow enough time, you know, before your departure, just do this as soon as possible. You know, so just to allow enough time for you to be able to, you know, get your visa, prepare for your trip and, you know, travel for your studies. So you make sure that you do all that. And for those in Nigeria, all the applications go through the TLS contact. So I'm going to put in the links in the description box box below. In Nigeria, they have an office in Lagos and Abuja. So if you live in Lagos, you can go to the Lagos office. So you make sure you book your appointment for the Lagos office. Or if you live in Abuja or the surrounding states, then you can also book your appointment with them in Abuja. This is the website of the Visa Application Center in Lagos. It's still the same thing with that in Abuja. So, but I'm going to put the two links in the description box. So we're just going to use um, that of Lagos to show you what um, it's all about. Okay, so this is the home page. And as you can see, your visa application, welcome to the Visa Application Center for France in Lagos, Victoria Island. I think this started in October, 2023. The TLS contacts are the ones that are in charge of um, France visas in Nigeria. So here you can see, um, TLS contact is welcoming visa applicants to its premises from Tuesday, October 3rd, 2023. So for application appointment, please show up 15 minutes before your appointment time and not before at the entrance to the building. So make sure you go there on time anyways, just to be sure that you are not missing out on anything. So, you know, of course they say prepare your supporting documents, complete your France visa form. So which is what I just showed you before we got to this website. 
and then you register on the website and make an appointment. And then you submit your application and provide your biometric data at the visa application center. So when you go for your visa, um, to submit your visa application, that's when you'll be doing all this. And of course, once it's ready, your passport is ready, then you will go there to collect your passport. So these are the information. Everything is on this website. You have the application process, the visa application fees. If you'd like to know the fees that you would pay for the long stay visa, then it's included here. So the TLX actually collects a service fee of 23,649 Naira, which is 28 euros. After you've gone there, they've taken your biometrics, you've submitted your application, then your application would be monitored by the visa center where you applied. So you can be able to go back to this website and track your application, you know, you track the progress of your application. And of course, you will be notified when your passport is ready for collection from the visa center. So if you applied in Lagos or Abuja, you'll be notified to go pick it up from where you submitted your application. So of course they say the visas are actually um, they are generally processed in like you know within 15 days, but sometimes it can take up to 45 days. So that's why we always advise you to make sure that you go, you apply as soon as possible. Once you've started your application, you've done your preliminary interview, you've passed. Make sure you go submit it at the TLS um, contact center, so that way everything is fast for you. And yeah, so that's it. If you have any questions, please put it in the description box below. And of course, I'll be sure to answer you. Good luck. I, I mean, I wish you all the best of luck and I hope you have a very, very good time in France with your studies. You won't regret it. You would surely, surely have fun. It's another opportunity to experience something new, move out of your comfort zone. And of course you would, you know it will pay in the end let me put it that way so thank you guys for watching if you have any questions make sure you put them in the comment section below and of course i'll be sure to answer them to the best of my ability do not forget to subscribe share this video because a lot of people don't really know about france so please share 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 and then like in the next video i'm actually going to be talking about um how you can you know of course when you get your visa what's the next steps when you arrive france see you there stay charming stay fabulous stay blessed stay healthy very very important thank you bye